wonderful people how are you doing how have you been this is your girl linda kenyita and i'm back again with another exciting episode and on this episode we are at the october fest yeah looking forward to seeing a lot of you people who will turn up for this and looking forward to see the variety that will be out here and also looking forward to having fun so kama kawaida this is dog tv kenya the best documentary channel for all dog lovers as you can see we have a new partner here at dog tv and that is pet store kenya and pet store kenya is an online pet store that offers all dog everything that you require for your pets so if it's dogs here we are dealing with dogs so all your dog requirements you'll find them at pet store kenya you can find them online and also they have physical shops also at kspca they have a physical shop there and also they have at a physical shop at mashiara park so support us by supporting pet store kenya you can shop online and you can have your things delivered anywhere you are in the country chilling out here with one of our judges and I'm going to let her introduce herself. The day is just beginning so we haven't seen much but she's going to introduce herself and maybe tell us a little bit about herself and what she expects of this day today. Hi. So I am Nyawi. I am the judge of the one of the judges for today. Um, and I've come with my cute baby <laughs> Rocco. Um, so I am hoping to see interesting breeds. Um, I'm hoping also for Roko to interact with um, other dogs. Um, I get to see different stores as well. I'm interested in that also. And just I'm, I'm waiting for like the fun part. The fun part. And, and also for, for Loco. Roko. Roko Loko. I'm Kikoyo. You already know that, right? So wh what breed is he or is uh, she or he? She. Um, she's a terrier and a Japanese spit mix. Okay. Has, uh, is she socialized to such events or is this a one time? Yeah, she, she's come for the October festival before. Um, she likes interacting with other dogs. So I'm, I'm happy she's like a friendly, super friendly dog. Okay. Yeah. So see you later along the day and uh, we hope to see the best around. Okay. okay. the Oktoberfest and I'm hanging out with one of the judges and I'm going to let him introduce himself and also introduce is it your dog <laughs> do you know it's no <laughs> and 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 he can tell us what he's been observing and how he's go it's going uh, hello my name is uh, Malik Lemo 
um, this you. year's judge and, and I'm happy uh, to be here. Thank you, Alfred, yeah. Mbaka che, mbaka milele, I'll see you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're a dog yeah. lover? Yeah, definitely. I've kept dogs ever since I was 12 years old. Yeah. So, ni mekana so for long. I have three dogs. I, I had seven. Like in sasa zima mbaki watatu. Yeah. Which breeds do you have at home? Um, I have Japanese spits. Na badu ni kono Australian terrier. Yeah, and my family keeps shepherds. They also keep um, boa bells. Yani tuko, anko yangu ni breeder. Uh, so what have you seen here today that has impressed you? I know you've judged a lot of dogs, so something memorable that you've noticed today. Um, I've realized there's more people who are, you know, getting to love dogs, and that's really a nice thing. So dogs, ni ma, dogs are friendly. You know, dogs are man's best friend. So I'm really happy the fact that now na more people wa mkuja hii event this time kuna turn up massive and there's like those beautiful dogs what wame take care dogs of it poor and that's a plus you know yeah so you living with dogs and taking care of dogs have the dogs been helpful to you in any way yes but i i wouldn't advise someone when you have patience kukuwa na dogi kwa sababu it's really crazy you know but kama wewe ni mtu uko na patience na truly unapenda dogi keep them hata ukitaka kuweka mia keep them they are really nice companion no lie yeah Mm. So advice to some young jamas out there mm-hmm. advice to young jamas concerning dogs or advice to young jamas concerning dogs ni men love dogs ladies love dogs buy your gala buy your gala a dog buy your gala puppy ata enjoy na ata kupenda for life au au wasemi uita wase na joni madogi but pia mimi uita wase au wase ni wapoa sana yeah thank you for gracing us with this interview and i hope to pay you a visit and then you can introduce me to your actual dog for sure you're welcome okay. all right i'm here at the kspca tent and we are talking about the kenyan shepherds and we are talking about adoption and i am here with the right person who can talk about the kenyan shepherds and adopting them hi ma hello how are you i'm fine thank you kindly i want you to introduce yourself and tell us something a little bit about your dogs okay my name is jaina mcleod and i have here with me jerry and marvin and this is sikuku and bruce and bob and oh ted behind you yeah they are these are our kenyan shepherds adopted from kspca some as adults and some as puppies and they've been excellent dogs excellent how has been your experience living with the kenyan shepherds they're very loyal they're very friendly and that they're also good guard dogs so they and we get them all fixed so they don't have puppies and we just if we need another one we go back to kspca and adopt again or if one gets too old and dies then we get another one from the kspca yes uh, how how is let me ask their manners and their trainabilities when you're living with them ah uh, they're very trainable you see they're here they're sitting nicely they're with us they went into the kenyan shepherd class they didn't win but there was a very tough competition so maybe next year but they're very well behaved they're very trainable We take them to dog classes. Yeah, we run with them. We go jogging. They come with us. They're excellent dogs. Yeah. And they're good watchdogs. Yeah. So it's well worth the work and and trouble that it takes. Yeah. Okay, people, you've had somebody with the experience of adopting. So if you're thinking about adopting, you can always visit the KSPCA uh, kennels and check out the variety of dogs they have. They just don't have um, the Kenyan Shepherds, there are other breeds of dogs that you can find there. So pay them a visit and inquire more about adoption. I am at the Dogtoberfest and I'm having fun, I'm making new friends and meeting old ones and I'm with Anga and Becky here and they look smaller. And I'm going to let the adult tell me why they look smaller and uh, say hi to the people and reintroduce yourself. Okay, hi. I'm Chege from Kirangi Black Russian Terriers. Um, we breed the Black Russian Terrier in Kenya. Well, they look smaller because we gave them a shaving. It's a bit hot. Uh, the weather is a bit warm today. So we, we didn't want them to struggle so much with the weather. Oh, okay. That's why they look smaller. Say hi to the people and introduce yourselves and tell us how is it taking care of this boy and girl. Uh, hello, my name is Brian from Embu, Kirangi Po. Uh, taking care of these dogs, they are strong dogs. So, they are really <coughs> tough. Uh, 
but it's it's a nice experience. It's a nice experience. Will they be participating at any category? Yeah, they'll be doing the race for large breeds. They also compete for Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Doctor first. Oh. And uh, Peck, you'll be doing obedience today. Okay. Yes. I don't want to be biased, but I, I <laughs> too many friends. I hope they win. Uh, let's hope so. I'm, I'm saying that one that I'm supposed to say on the inside. I love you all people. <laughs> so let's, I'll, I'll see all the fields and see how we do today. Thank you, Dr. We are happy to be with you again. We love you. You are doing a great job. Okay. And I have a gift for you today. Okay. Uh, and to, today we are being sponsored by Pet Stock Kenya. Wow. And uh, I, I'm going to give something for Becky uh -huh. and Anga. Because you guys are nice. Uh, we are friends with these people. We buy some of our products from them, like these harness rugs we bought from them. We bought some treats for our dogs and some dog food and some toys also. And uh, they have very good quality, especially the, uh, the, the, the harnesses and the collars are very good. Okay, you've heard yourself from the client's mouth that these are good people. Pet store is good people. <laughs> yeah, people, somebody is celebrating there. So make your orders online. They, are, they can deliver anywhere across the country. So you don't have to worry. And if you, you can check on the links below, you'll find the link to the store online. Okay, so click. Bye. It will be delivered. So we have a gift. Let me have that one. Uh, here you are, and I hope that Anga and Becky will enjoy them. Ah, thank you very much. We are thankful for this gift. They will really enjoy this. Hi, my wonderful people. I'm still at the Dog Tober Fest, and I'm hanging out here with some Rottweiler lovers, and they have a lot to say. Let's start by introduction. Introduce yourself, sir, and your dog. Hi, my name is Stanley, and this is Nana. She's two years. Yep. Uh, and this is my, this, these are my brothers and their lotus. Hi, my name is Jean Audrey, J. Robin Kennels. Hi, my name is John, J. Robin Kennel. This is Hitler, this is Prince. One year, uh, two years old. Yeah, my name is Robin Dennis, uh, the director of J. Robin's Kennel. Uh, this is Hitler and Prince. Uh, they're actually very lovable retailers. Yeah. Um, the most important thing yeah, for me is that people need to educate more about rotis. There is this stigmatization that rotis are bad dogs, they are tough dogs, they are cruel dogs. This is one of the best breed anyone should ever have. They are very protective of, to the kids and to people and very loving. They are quick to learn, they learn so fast and uh, even their, their care. It's easy to do that. So for me, what first I'd mention is people should not, because it, that's the same reason why if you come to a function like this, we have very few rotis. So when I came and found my brothers here with some, I was really impressed. Even my dog was impressed too, because these dogs need more love. And like the way people think about them, they're easy to keep, they're loving. My dog stays in the house with my kids and people. And it's easy. Look at you here. You're a stranger, but because you're not a threat, and so people need to get rid of that mindset that road is about. Yeah. So hi guys. Uh, uh, as my as my brother said, uh, I think should, people should be should be should be ready to to learn more about rottweilers because they are they actually good dogs. Uh. With the, with the proper training, proper socialization, actually that the best dogs a person can have. And uh, this means that to uh, kill a rotella, it 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 will it will bite your child, you take home. Those are all meats. These dogs are actually, as you can see here, Prince and, uh, and Hitler, with the proper socialization, uh, together with Nana, see how they are coping well with people. Yeah, that's all. So people should learn more about rotellas and uh, so that they know that they're actually good dogs. Actually, my take will be on the misconception on uh, rotellas. Because you know, most of the, let me not just uh, categorize, say, like Kenyans, but uh, it's like uh, more of a misconception worldwide. In the sense that Rotuela are bad dogs, and uh, if they are left with the, in the compound with the children, they are the ones which can uh, feed on the children. But you see, then again, it's because to, uh, it trickles down to the owner. How have you trained your dog? 
how do you socialize your dog with others then again you see for the rottweiler for me my take is usually on the loyalty part these are very good dog in terms of loyalty it's one dog if you train it in terms of security wise it's able to uh, like a uh, guard any child in the compound any person even like uh, unmanned security types the rottweiler is actually the best and uh, the temperament once you are able to contain this uh, kind of dog like for the rottweiler it is the best dog for me uh, and my take is that uh, it, uh, we need to continue educating uh, other breeders other dog lovers not only the breeders but also those people who love dogs just to have them for security or maybe as a pet just to be able to also be welcoming for the rottweilers uh, these are good dogs and actually just to break that misconception that uh, actually they don't feed on people they only feed on the other feeds like other dogs they are great so i've been given a challenge to ask you people would you own a rottweiler what misconceptions have you heard out there about the rotis is it about the dog or is it about the owner so leave your comments below and let me think what you what you know about the rotis or what your opinions about the rotis are and also people remember to check on the link below and check out the link to pet store online store where you can order all your pet requirements wherever you are in the country and they will be delivered to your doorsteps until the next one see you remember to leave your comments below we are still hanging out at the Dogtober Fest, and you know we, me and Mogo, we are telling one another, we are reminding one another that this is our first anniversary. We met at the Dogtober Fest last year, so it's full circle one year complete. Now tell me, now I, I would also think that now you you have had experience with dogs and taking care of dogs. <laughs> You've made more friends. How has it been? Um, uh, it's been a year. Uh -huh. I have more dogs. <laughs> so much love, as you can see. Uh -huh. And um, I've learned so much from last year. Yeah. Mogo, how has it been? Uh, I think it's been an amazing journey, personally. Like, uh, the transformation specifically from last year to now, I can't even compare. Like last year, we were still even developing. We didn't have that many dogs. We, we, knew, we knew so little. At least now we are a bit more experienced. And yeah, it's, I, I think the journey is, has been really nice, amazing. And the transformation has been dogs and you personally. Where is the fro? Ah, the fro went. <laughs> <laughs> the fro went. <laughs> Sorry, my. <laughs> we also have kennels. Uh -huh. We were preparing to start building kennels when we met. Uh -huh. Now we have kennels. We even bought dogs. This is one of the dogs we normally bought. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, a lot has happened. Your, your hair was completely black. Now it's blonde. Uh, yeah, a lot. <laughs> uh, so, uh, how, how, how many dogs do you now own? When, you, when we first met you, you had two. You had Kalisi and Milo. You didn't have kennels. I don't fully. We had only two. I don't remember to be honest. But these uh, dogs you are yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are the same one. So now, since then, we have uh, ten, ten adults, and uh, currently thirteen puppies. <laughs> <laughs> ten dogs, thirteen puppies. Uh, that span of one year. Uh, what would you tell dog lovers and um, someone who wants to get a dog out here? Um, I'd, I'd, I'd definitely recommend getting a dog. They are very friendly, very loving, and when you come here, you, you're just so happy. All the stress goes. You meet other dog lovers with similar interests. There are even rescues, and even my friend here rescued. Her dog is a rescue. Maybe she can say more about that. Okay, pass the mic to her, and then she can share something small about her rescue dog and where she rescued it from. Yeah. Uh, this is Jess. This is my rescue dog. I rescued her from TNRT, but KSPCA is the one who rescued her initially. Then TNRT fostered her and her puppies. Then I adopted her and her puppies have been adopted as well. Yeah. And I'm Keddy. Thank you for adopting girl. And, and, and remember we say that you do not have to shop for a puppy if you really want to get a puppy you want a dog and you don't know where to start you can start by visiting the case kspca kennels at current and you can check out the wide variety of puppies that they have so that you can adopt also remember that we have a new partner that is pet store kenya you can support us by clicking on the 
link on the description shop so that you can support us and we can continue to churn out quality awesome content to you guys support support us it's been awesome it's been wonderful see uh, even for me personally i've grown these ones have become like my regular friends you know you you start i remember you guys when we started you saying that you did not have friends how how is your social life today <laughs> <laughs> now I have friends. Now you have friends. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Mugo, how, how is the coach potato life? Uh, there is no more coach potato. <laughs> eh, it's it's 4 a.m. every day. You wake up, you deal with the dogs, and there is there is no sitting down around. Like you have to be active all time. Uh, so yeah. And, and also we've grown. We have a a club, a dog club. That is Hot Paws Kennel Club. We take dogs for walks. So if you would be interested in joining us, you can always follow us through our social media handles. That is Dog TV Kenya, Green Garden Kenya, and Hot Paws Kenya, and also Jadani Kennels, and get notified of our dog walks in the future.